I want to vent because I feel like we're being played and finessed. I think I always feel that way. <laughs> but seriously, there is so much buzz around passive income. Um, and I kind of wanted to do a video talking about different passive income ideas. I did one before, so if you are interested, definitely click this up here. And I talked about some passive income ideas. But honestly, passive income is BS, okay? And I wanna talk about why I say that. My problem with passive income and how passive income in general that word in general has just kind of tricked people into thinking that money should be a you know kind of set it and forget it thing which i don't agree with so make sure you stick around for all that and more it's crystal with the cash compass all right welcome or welcome back i am here to teach you all the things that you should have learned in school about money but for whatever reason, they forgot to mention it. Please be sure to subscribe because we talk about everything from personal finance to invest into the economy. Let's get into it. All right, so people think of passive income and they just fantasize about sleeping and making money, eating and making money, moving your bowels and making money. I mean, okay, you get it. You want to make money while not really lifting a finger. And that is such a myth that if you think that way about passive income, don't technically yes there are income streams that allow you to do that um however for you to think that that's just the end of it you know you just kind of make money forever and ever amen it that's not the full story okay so i want to give you the full picture why i say it's not passive is because it takes a lot of work up front to establish and then it does take work in the middle and the ending to maintain if there is an ending okay why is that Let's use it, for example, real estate, okay? A lot of people consider rental properties to be passive. In fact, our tax code does also consider it to not be active income, right? But baby, the work that you have to put in to even get to that point of just collecting rent, you have to look for the properties, you have to run the numbers, you have to do repairs. And the repairs are also ongoing when the person's actually in there, right? And let's say you did all of that work, you looked for the right property, you put the numbers in, all of that and now you're just collecting your rent you might not be getting the best use of your money so you should always at least annually kind of calculate what your return is and could your money work even harder for you if you put it somewhere else right for example let's say you know maybe you bought a property when the market was like kind of high or maybe you weren't really sure about real estate so you just kind of stuck to a local market right and you bought something in Miami that was extremely overpriced and now you're looking at your returns and you're like mm, okay so kind of about this high at this moment you know I'm only getting like a four or five percent return but if I were to sell this property and either do a like kind exchange which means you won't pay any taxes on that on the on the game because you're gonna just basically transfer the property to another property don't want to get too complicated here but long story short maybe you get rid of this property and get another property in Tennessee or something like this that's cheaper and you can get even more units or an even bigger house and you can actually get much more money for your buck because you live in a very expensive place but if you were to invest in a different state you can get even better returns so you want to always analyze what your money is doing and can it even go harder for you you can't get complacent and you cannot get content same thing for stocks like what if you have a stock and it's paying dividends okay they've always paid dividends so i'm gonna just buy this stock collect my dividends and go what if there's companies offering more aggressive dividends right or what if this dividend actually gets cut now you're not now you won't make money off of that unless you actually sell it and listen none of i don't care what anybody says i don't like the idea of having to sell any of your assets just to make money right so people who have stocks that are not dividend stocks and the only way you're going to make money is if you sell it it can have a place in your portfolio sure but i honestly feel like i would always want to have some sort of cash flow and it's it's you know growth is nice but cash flow to me is better same thing with vending machines or atm machines i'm just giving a lot of examples to kind of drive the point home that it's not passive even though people call these things passive with vending machines and atm machines you have to obviously continuously look for different locations to put up your atms or your vending machine businesses you have to always go over there and replenish those you know either the cash or the food or the drinks in there and then you have to always look for more areas right because what happens if you had your atm machine in a you know in a club <laughs> but then for whatever reason the club was i don't know shut down because of covid right now what are you gonna do so having a um an atm in maybe a supermarket would have been a better idea right so you want to constantly have to like evaluate what's going on in the economy and make sure that you're putting your products in places that make sense same thing with youtube i mean i don't i think i, I think i made my point right 
when you make videos i have a video right now that's doing great and it's really carrying my channel but you know it doesn't stop there i want to make sure when people come to my channel they're still finding things that they would like that they would want to come back to and enjoy and hit the like button because they like what they see right or they like what they hear or both i don't know forget it <laughs> the point is Nothing is really passive in this world. And I think, it, you know, it might sound like just semantics, like whatever, Crystal, like, okay, we get it. It's not passive, but it kind of is passive, right? But I think the words are so important because they carry a lot of weight, okay? When you think of passive, you just automatically kind of get lazy with it. And I think that the idea of passive income really hits a home for a lot of people because they like the idea of something for nothing. And I think we have a lot of that going on in America, but of course in other countries as well, where we kind of feed into that narrative like oh yeah you, like you deserve this like you should be you should be on the beach right now like you shouldn't be having to work like what's work and that actually ends up just breeding a whole community of people who feel enabled right who people who feel entitled um you know i.e these stimulus checks and these unemployment programs i'm not saying that they don't help they definitely do help but i would prefer us actually trying to create jobs you know rather than just giving people money to just sit around um let's let's kind of grow the economy like let's really build something here if we're gonna print all this money um why don't we actually put it into infrastructure like trump mentioned he wanted to do but you know jfk airport is still looking crazy but when they tell you it's passive when they tell you you know oh you're gonna just put this work in and then you just kind of enjoy this money every single month i think people really like that idea you know and that's why it's so easy to sell a 401k to somebody because it's like oh you know you just put this money in we won't even really notice what's going going on okay we'll be making money for you sure after we take all our fees out right and then when you're old you can just kind of sit back and just enjoy and while that sounds great and i'm sure it works for a lot of people um, how nice would it be to actually have assets that are going to be bringing you money too as a backup because you don't know for a fact if that money will be there waiting for you. Ask people in 2008, okay? Not everybody came out there alive. Like quite literally people, you know, ended their own lives because they thought they had some money they were going to, you know, retire on and they did not have that money there. So you should always get active, little mama. Like you should always be about that money actively looking actively evaluating doing calculations and seeing how much that money can actually work for you and obviously i'm not sitting here telling you that there's not jobs that are actually better as far as getting more of your time back like i know that i know with rental properties or even your vending machines or whatever i know those things are much better for most people than working a nine to five and just spending you know all of their life in a fluorescent lighting cold office environment okay i totally get that i just want to get rid of the idea of money being passive i don't think people who are millionaires think of their money as passive i think they're always thinking about the next thing how can i get more cash flow how can i make my money work for me even harder so that i can really enjoy life the way i want to let me know what you think do you guys think passive income is a thing a myth do you think it kind of encourages people to think of money as this thing that you should get and just kind of be lazy about or do you think that i'm just doing too much let me know what you think but that will do it if it's this video then please like this video and share with your friends and if you made it this far and you're not subscribed yet the time is now you know no pressure of course <laughs> and if you know what's going on you know what to do go ahead and binge watch me and until next time keep your money up